Hi right, guys, I'm back with one, another one of my inane stories. <laughs> but I am starting to figure out, and you guys that know me know I, I look at things in micro detail. I'm starting to figure out what's wrong with training. So let me just give you the quick backstory. I had this friend Nate, uh, emphasize had, but you know, he seemed like a good guy. He looked like a dog trainer. And he was able to do some little retrieving stuff or whatever. And then all of a sudden he posts this thing by Chad Mackin. I don't know, you know, that would be like you, that would be like, if you're there, Chelsea, that would be like Lucero suddenly posting Justin Bieber on their Facebook and saying, listen to this. Oh, Mona, please look this guy up. You're going to be, you're going to be able to spot this right away. If you said you haven't studied this guy's work, I don't need to. When I look at someone's video and I see five novice errors in the first minute, I, I don't need to look any further. So I understand that part of the problem is this little microcosm of this little chat boards where this guy is somehow the king. He comes on this thread. So I said to this guy, Nate, it hurts my heart that you think that that's good work. Uh, you know, this guy's like, who cares what hurts your heart, lady? But, you know, I, it, that's how it makes me feel when I think there's somebody that gets it. And then they t this fucking Chad Mackin ought to be out there fucking waving fucking things to land a jet is what it looks like to me. And in his hands, it's great big red flags. Apparently these people don't see it. That's what I look at, you guys. When I go on these people's videos, it's like a guy landing a jet. The red flags are just flying around these people. And then they say, well, you don't see our, you haven't seen our finished result. I, I, I know enough to know that that's not going to get any kind of result. So this guy tries to come on there. I hope you're there, Mike. I, I'm going to send you. Oh, good. Mike is there. Mike would, Mike. We need more guys like you, Mike, that can chill up. When you see this guy, he doesn't even look like a dog. He looks like a manager of Burger King. And you're going to, what are you going to, you know, what are these people going to say? How is, this guy's an expert based on what? Uh, he uh, went to UC Davis and has a master's. I don't think so. Anyway, this guy tries to come on there and... If you think that I start getting nervous that these people are going to attack my process, they've never done it yet. They don't even understand a process. So I said, Chad, I'll go on record as saying, you're not any good. You don't have any methodology. There's no recall. There's no off-lease. The guy can't even do a trained retreat. You know i got to throw that one in there all the time. Uh, Mike knows. If, if I just ran into another trainer and they said, who's that? Oh, the guy can't even do a trained retreat. <laughs> if you think that we even discuss that person any farther, no, we don't. Who's that? Oh, I can't even do a trend retreat. And then she, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry that that has to be a line that all these people can't do this. So anyway, uh, he then immediately, oh, uh, listen to this, Mike, immediately runs to the chat board within two seconds, apparently. You know, and they tried to say, I'm bad? Runs to the chat board and posts a post that says, I'm being accused of having no methodology. And the reason I don't have a methodology is I have conversations with them. Well, I call them like I see them. I said, you don't have a methodology? The guy goes right in public forum and admits I have no methodology. So just to make sure I'm not behind the times, I text Mark my little loaded true and false questions. And I said, true or false, every dog trainer is operating from a methodology, not the absence of a methodology. Of course, he just says true. This poor guy's out there trying to train dogs. He's not <laughs> petty little chat board bullshit. You know, so, you know, so, and not that I thought I was wrong, but you know, now this guy's going online saying I don't have a methodology. This is their expert. Oh no, Mike, this, this is the chat board expert. That's just, I mean, this guy couldn't be waving any more red flags to say, I do not know what I am doing with dogs. That, that's what it looks, that's what I see when I see these people's videos. Look at me. I don't know what, I, <laughs> you know, 
It really hurt me, though, that that guy thought that work was good. And I said, what has gone so wrong that a guy who publicly stayed, who's called out for not having a methodology, and he didn't say anything about the recall off leash or train to the truth, then goes on a public forum admitting he doesn't have a methodology. Okay, but then how are you teaching anybody anything if there's no methodology? You're teaching them to have conversations with dogs. I, I don't even want to know what these conversations are. You know, and, and if it, for what it looks like to me is you're using their head for a drum to play songs on their brain with your freaking hands. And the way you move your body, nothing. That may work as a Burger King manager, but it doesn't work as a dog trainer. You've got to have more control of your body. Not just flopping your arms around. <laughs> uh, right after that, this guys in white coats are going to come put me in a straight jacket, Mike. So... <laughs> Get it all alive. That's where everything went wrong. You can go on YouTube and find video after video. Uh, prong collar, comments disabled. They tell these people systemically, you got nothing to learn. You disable comments. You don't want any feedback. That's the difference between Christopher. Christopher sent me the video and said, please critique it. Tell me, tell me anything I can do different to make it better. And I said, don't run backwards. And I don't want you guys at home to do that either. If you've got a dog and you're trying to do a recall, don't run facing the dog run backwards don't don't face the dog and run backwards if you said what would you do instead if you had two seconds turn your back turn your back turn your back don't don't run it and if you said sometimes you walk backwards the reason i do that is i have made that a precursor for getting gone that's what these dogs call me gone girl you know not Alpha, no, listen to this, Mike. This guy does the alpha wolf rollover. He has no methodology, rolls the dogs over, talks to them, tells them to be calm, and then nobody ever has to tell them anything again. They actually go back to their house, and this this internal dialogue that this guy gave us right there. You know, people need to set a standard of at least, there's no, you know, if you said, well, then what would the standard, I would say a companion dog trainer needs to at least be able to do a recall from, a hundred yards away on a loose dog, you know. Not make one stay, make it come. It's out in a big field. You could have like a field test, you know. Go out to some of these field trial grounds and let these dogs loose. And when it gets to a certain point, say, all right, call it back. Anyway, I'm not friends with that guy anymore. And I'm sure, you know, some other girl, I told her, I'll help you learn this. She goes, how do you claim to know what my, uh, how I feel about my, I saw your catalog. That's how I know what your work is. It's awful. If you think I see people, and I do, I mean, I do see people in sport or whatever. You see people and you say, this guy's good or she's good or whatever. You, you can see immediately by the way they're holding their body and the way they're taking pride in the way they move, not just flopping around like some kind of, flopping their hands around on the dog's head and doing all these things. You know, if you said soldiers don't have a certain body language, the good ones do. And so if you said as a dog trainer, you yeah, absolutely. Anyway, all right, you guys, I'm actually going to, yeah, Timothy, I just, I wish you would have met me before I was this broken. Oh, I'm going to send you the video of this guy, Timothy. You're going to spot the guy right away. You know, and that, that they, these people think this guy's awesome. They're not taking, if you said these dog trainers are coming into this field, they're doing some serious studies. And No, they're not. They're going to that chat board. The other people on the chat board are saying, grab a prong collar. If it starts pulling, yank it. That's the only way I can explain what's going on out there. That seems to be the most viable explanation. I can, I, I just, I, I'm going to go post another video of this girl that I just stumbled on. I actually thought it was... The owner at first, a, a poor owner. You know how they try to show the beginning where the owner can't handle. No, this was the trainer. So I, I don't even watch the whole thing. I just, I'm enough to know. I can watch the beginning a little bit and then fast forward to the end. And there was no difference. It was the same at the beginning. Uh, oh, Mona, why, please, if you go on the chat boards, I'm sure you've got to be just vomiting at the people that they are touting. You know, and this Chad Mackin thinks he's going to come. <laughs> Don't come at me, Chad Mackin. You've got nothing. 
you know, I've got bigger balls than you, I, and I'll take my catalog and stomp all over you. You know, that's the reality of it, and you need to stop posing. Any of these people could get better. Any of these people say, I'm going to make it my freaking mission. I'll, 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 this chick thinks she's got something. I'll, I'll, I'll get my prong, and I'll go into development. And if you said, how do you know people with prongs aren't in the development phase of their career? <laughs> that's the only people that should be teaching anybody anything, is people are in the development phase, people in the journeyman phase of dog training. Shouldn't be teaching anyone anything because they don't know. These people aren't even journeymen, Mona. They're self-proclaimed experts. And if you said, well, what are you an expert based on? First off, since I was 21, I've worked nonstop training dogs for some of the most awful kennels you've ever seen. None of them are even still in business. They were all awful. You know, but if you said, what do you need to do to get to the development phase of uh, a dog trainer? Have an intense passion for it and be able to put yourself in a situation where you've got dogs going through your hands nonstop. Uh, if you listen to this, Mike, they all run to the chat board and say, oh, she doesn't have any dogs to train. I upload more videos than one day these people do in their whole career. So that's where you have to be. If you want to develop something, you have to be in that phase of your career. That you're not using a prong collar. You've got to get past the prong collar. You're not going to develop anything. If you said there's nothing better than a prong. If any dog around here would need a prong, it would be Angus. You know. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I, I'm going to go out there right now. Uh, I've got to rest up a little bit. Parker's graduation is today, so that's going to be a good show. That's called Me and Mandy. Tease Carl relentlessly, but Carl is a real man, so Carl can take it. But, you know, we haven't given him his script. It's all going to be improv. But, you know, I want you guys to stay. If there is, Mona, if there's any kind of chat boards that you can. Uh... Oh, hi, Monica. I'm, I'm sure you know all these people. And, Monica, please, if, if you like Chad Mack and please, law, please unfriend me immediately. Uh, because I don't understand that's what's so strange to me that these people don't immediately I don't meet any young dog trainers that I don't immediately say you need to change this because this is a gross novice error and some of them do the ones that don't want to do it the ones that will fight you they need to just go do that other work and they're never going to be the development phase of their career until you put down that prong collar and pick up this pager you're not going anywhere with your work you're not because it's been there done that and if you said these people have paid their dues more than you no they haven't I've trained the most awful toad dogs I paid off my mortgage way early by training a lot of toad dogs because that's what's out there. And if you said, well, so what? That's what you learned from me. Yeah, I did. And a lot of it was the hard way. You know, when people fight me on what I'm doing and saying, we do it different. You know, that's why you're not getting the result. Anybody could go out there right now. That's it. There is a methodology to what I'm doing. And that's what the difference is. Anybody, Christopher's able to do it. Mike's able to do it. Chelsea's able to do it pick up a pager and apply the methodology. If I said I have no methodology, I just speak secret pager language to the dogs, I would expect all of you to say, screw you, lady, you can't help us. You're not going to help us at all in our work. See ya. But there is, it's such a solidified, you're not going to be able to show this to people and then say, that's not a, that's, there's an obvious methodology. It's just screaming consistency you know so this guy if you guys don't recognize that Chad Mack and Larry Crown Jeff Gelman Gary Wilkes well, he's a monster I don't I wouldn't want that guy near me if that guy came near me I would go get a gun I wouldn't want that crazed freak near me if he hits a dog like that what does he do to a woman you know that disagrees with him terrifying individual that guy is effing scary oh he's beyond just awful these other 
guys, you know. Well, I don't want that Gary Wilkes near me or any of my dogs, and that's that's how everybody should think. I don't want that Chad Mackin near any of my dogs. If you said Chad Mackin can come here and out-train these dogs and he's got a better catalog than you and you're, you're jealous, oh, stop it. The, you can watch any one of his videos, and in the first 30 seconds, it's that long. It's full of novice errors, you know? And, I mean, maybe everybody isn't cut out to really be that passionate about this work that they would dare to put down their prong collar. They cling to these things and then they run to the chat board and all the people on there say, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Prong, prong, prong. Best thing ever. Anyway, Mona, if there's any, uh, and I appreciate your support, and Monica, I want you to know, you give me absolutely no support, so you're tipping on the list of maybe guilty by association with all those people. You know, and, and you guys will understand, when you get to the development phase of your career, um, you know, you do, you've got to have people that support what you're doing that will take it and apply it and validate, you know, not that I don't have people that do that, but you're not going to be able to say this isn't a methodology that could be written down and this work wouldn't benefit every dog, wouldn't benefit from having a pager. And if you said every dog would benefit from having a prong, I'd say, see ya. I know, this is me. I make people guilty by association because I say if they run with these people, and that's really, I, I'll never forget Janet, and you can tell her this, because what she, and I was very kind to her, and I went out of my way to help her. She, never, she, wouldn't, she wouldn't even lift a thumb to help me. You know, that's what you have to realize. These people want to give you the time of day, so... But what she said to me is, I knew the pager was wrong, but they all told me to use the constant. And when I thought back about it, I said, you didn't have a fierce enough heart to say, I'll be the one to stand up and say, no, you don't with the constant. No, she caved and started using constant. I'll never forget that. I said, here was a girl that had a chance to be Norma Ray and get up on the table and say, no, you don't tell me to hit it. I'll hit it with constant, okay. And so it just, all of this put together made me realize it's this microcosm of this chat board and people not living with a fierce heart to say, screw you, that's not gonna, I'm not gonna live my life with a prong collar. I'm gonna be more passionate about dogs. It's, that's what it boils down to, you know, and you said, you're not getting any results. Look at Angus, you haven't done anything with him. I'm amazed myself what I've done with this dog. I'll tell you what happened yesterday. After all the chaos of the lawn people and everything else, and, and Quay was here, and Elliot and Andre can't be around the lawn people. Quay, none, nobody. Elliot and Andre can only be around me. So with all the chaos and the lawn people or whatever, I let them out. Well, I forgot I let them out, and I went to take Angus and shoe bottom out, and I, I opened up the door, and there they were, and they all went out there together. And if you said, what did you do? I used my recall, got Angus back in the house and said, crap. <laughs> but no, that, you know, I defused the situation. Not that I don't think anything was going to happen. I really think they were all going to run around together. But I used my nick and my accelerated tone. I got Angus back in the house, said, yeah, shut the door and went, put those shepherds up and said, and then I said, fuck. <laughs> I got to watch that. But it was just such a chaotic day. You don't know what it involves with these lawn people. And then, oh. I know what it was. Uh, everybody's like, who cares? Uh, Cheyenne came. Cheyenne came over, and that's what caused all the, just the big delays. But Cheyenne came over, and Connie had left a bag of um, shoes and clothes and everything for Cheyenne. So then Cheyenne had to put on a fashion show for me wearing every pair of shoes, and it was like 12 pairs of shoes. So she had to put on each pair of shoes, and then I had to, you know, and then she had this little purse. I had to clap every time she modeled each of so, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to be right back with Angus. Hey, guys.